<laughs> yeah, if I if I had to do the same in Paris, I don't know if it would be capable. I mean, I moved to New York you know, 15 years ago, and I really I'm fascinated by New York, like most of the people, you know. And there is an energy here. Everyone come to New York to do something, so there is an energy. But I was also impressed by the reality of New York that we don't see much in cinema. You have the cinema, we show you the best New York and stuff, and the 80s, all the thing we love. And then there is a different reality you know, on the ground. And I, I, I thought it was interesting through this movie and through the paramedic to get into the heart of the city, you know, inside the city, like, like really to discover this kind of backstage of New York, you know, from the movies. And, uh, and I was fascinated, maybe because I'm French, but also because it's a fascinating city. You know, it's a Babel Tower with all the culture and diversity and stuff or whatever. And, and the paramedic is a really interesting way of getting into it, you know. Mm. Why was it important for you to be so realistic? I always like this in movies, you know, I like realistic movies. I don't like when it's when people lie to me, you know, I want to see the reality as it is. And I think this this topic, you know, with the paramedic and the reality and the health system, healthcare system in the US, the patient and the paramedic, we kind of suffer also of this kind of tough life because when you have to face, you know, this kind of... Uh, illness of the people and social violence and really it's difficult how you handle it that was also a subject of the movie and i was interested to do to, to kind of through the movie being realistic because you can lie about it you know it's a real so also being realistic to immerse people to do an immersive movie and for people to share their experience of time in a movie you know this character you know how it is to be a young paramedic facing the reality of our world these days you know chaotic world and crazy world we are all living in <laughs> i love humanity i love human beings i think i love to do a yeah, movie about human being and most of my movies were human being facing the violence so it can be a uh, I think this one was interesting too because they, these paramedics, they have to face the violence, but they come after the act, you know, after the violence, trying to do something about it. And I think that's what I would love with the, my movies, you know, it's trying to understand the violence, so to be intense and not lying about it and facing these kind of situations, trying to fight them and trying to understand them and trying to change this kind of reality, you know, we are all in. And, and that's what I'm interested in movies, you know, not just movie for movie and telling your story, but also to see the world as it is and trying to see how we can change it, you know. And, and that's why I was also fascinating by this paramedic character, you know, because they are a way to see our reality and, and a way to understand themselves, you know, and ourselves. That, There's that's always... what we need in these movies, no, to understand ourselves. I hope you understand yourself better, you know, after watching the movie. <laughs> that's the goal. <laughs> Yeah, Jean Stefan, I think that there's always a redemption and empathy and redemption in the films as well. Yeah, I like the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, we can go deep, 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 and then at least, you know, I mean, we know we, we, the human human being is very really strong. You know, so we know we can survive to a lot of stuff. And it's always important to, to understand there is light at the end of the tunnel and we can change this. You know, it's just to. Interesting, I think, to face this and see how we can suddenly like go into something maybe more spiritual and more like uh, that's why we, we work with Ty also on this kind of Archangel Michael character. You know, he's a kind of an angel, you know, like looking at the people, looking at the humanity and trying to see how to save this world. Are the, the people needing help actors or they're just random people from life? They're human beings. So that's for me, that's... I first quality uh, of uh, an actor is to be a great human being. And I wanted to really uh, match, you know, professional actors, non-professional actors. I think not to do also a stereotype, you know, of the people, to have real people playing their own part, you know, and they wanted to play their own part and give their own interpretation of the, the character they are playing because they, they had this experience of life. They had the body also that tell the story because, you know, when you did this movie, you have like one second and or oh, one minute, let's say, to understand what's the background of this character. So having all these bodies, real body of life, you know, real experience of life, make the film, I think, more realistic, but also give a chance to these people to testimony, you know, about their own life and trouble and what they are facing every day. And, and they're all proud, you know, whatever happened. And I like this match between professional and non-professional actor for this reason, too. <laughs>